It started off so quietly, you'll never believe what happened in the afternoon. A sweep across the waterfront early this morning revealed no activity at all on the west side. But work was underway on the east abutment. There was further evidence of preparations to pour a concrete face. There's a craft to work like this, and experience is definitely required. Rods involved required some preparation, perhaps to ensure that they would take the threaded bolts we'll see. Some final drilling of the concrete wall was required. Threaded fasteners, which may be associated with the need to secure forms in due course, were installed across the wall. It's likely that a similar operation will have to be performed on the west side, but there was no activity today. Departure of equipment used to construct the temporary bridge confirmed that it is now complete. It certainly looks to be in great shape. Just after midday, members of the crew closed the barriers and departed the site. But don't switch off, there's more. Shortly after one o'clock, a group of rather official looking individuals assembled on the East Bridge. It was drawn to my attention that they were to host a media visit to discuss and explain the introduction of the temporary bridge. Once guests had arrived, they made their way down onto the site. It appears that there were some detailed explanations and descriptions of the work. There was no shortage of high-tech recording equipment on show. Certainly, some details of the bridge appeared to be delivered. But when a Royal Canadian Air Force C-17 passed, all interest seemed to be lost. It's likely that a description was given of how the bridge is to be placed. And we should all be able to look forward to detailed reports from the journalists present. In the meantime, enjoy these views of the Wolf Islander 4 departing the Kingston Dock this morning. Thanks for watching.